welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tribute to um, the holiday, if you will, of National Lipstick Day. It's kind of fantastic that my birthday is so close to this holiday. Um, National Lipstick Day is actually um, tomorrow on the 29th, but I did say so I can tell y'all um, kind of a little bit about, not about Lipstick Day because that's really self-explanatory, but um, on National Lipstick Day, if you go to Sephora or Ulta or whatever, um, I, you get a free, I know you get one free lipstick from MAC. I don't know if it's with like a certain amount of a purchase or with any purchase. So if you wanted, you could like walk in there, buy a brush for $7 and get a free lipstick that's actually 17 bucks. So that's really awesome. Um, but this video is just going to be about me showing y'all some of my favorite lipsticks, some of my favorite glosses in honor of National Lipstick Day. So let's get started. some of the lipsticks that I like so we're gonna just start with what is this okay velvet teddy this is Mac um, $17 at Sephora or Ulta wherever you want it um, I'll show you swatch fit because I'm kind of in love with it it's for sure a nude oh my gosh is my hand like broken yeah it's for sure like a really good nude um, I use this if I'm going to school I use it if I'm going for pageants I use it literally all the time it works with the natural face it works with the glam face it's super super matte and um, actually that's one of my favorite lipsticks that I own. So that is Velvet Teddy by MAC. So the next lipstick that I'm showing you is Ruby Woo by MAC again. Um, this kind of got like, it like died because it melted in my car. But this is a red. Um, it's also really pretty. Um, I use reds all the time because of cheer or like since I go to like a school that we do like our colors are red, white, and blue. I'm always wearing red lipstick with my uniforms and for pageants or whatever it may be. So if you're looking for a good, reliable red lipstick that's gonna like, it's not gonna melt or bleed or any of that stuff, um, MAC for sure is the way to go. Ruby Woo, I love that one. So my last high-end um, lipstick is the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Child Star. Um, this is also a really good one. It's like, it's more of like, it's glossy, but like it's glossy here, but like when you put it on the skin, it mats out really well. It's kind of like Velvet Teddy, I guess a little bit, but um, like a little bit more nude. So like here, right here is Velvet Teddy. Oh my gosh, I can't find my hand. That's Velvet Teddy and that's um, the Too Faced one. I like this one with like a gloss over it because this one does get like super matte really quick. So if like you have super pale skin like I do, especially if like I bronze really like dark. Um, it'll kind of look like I have no lips. So I love that one for a good like base color, but for um, like just like for to put a gloss over, it really makes it like more appealing in my personal opinion. But if you just want to get that, um, that is okay. That's good to go. So that is, um, now I have one more to show you and that'll be it for the lipsticks. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this with all of my lipsticks because I know that like not everyone can go to Sephora or something and spend $17 on a tiny little lipstick that's this big. So I'm gonna be doing like drugstore and um, high-end so I can appeal to everyone. Um, so the next one that I love, this is Rimmel. It's by Rimmel, this is right there. In the shade Nude in the City. And this is again, I'm a nude girl for sure. Um, this one's a little bit more pink, I guess, than the other ones, but you can tell it matches with Velvet Teddy really well. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this one is I'm a, I am love matte, so this one kind of, I guess it glosses a little bit more. Like, it's for sure matte, but like it leaves kind of like a gloss overtone, which I love sometimes, but other times if I'm trying to get like a matte look, ew, why do I funny to look like that? <laughs> if I'm trying to get a matte look, like that kind of just like takes away the whole purpose, but if I am trying to use like a drugstore product, this is for sure the way to go. I absolutely love it. So now we're gonna move on to glosses. So starting in my higher end, um, this is MAC Gloss. I don't know like what they call it, but yeah, this is that in the shade. Oh my gosh, that's tiny. Oh, it's called Mineralized, Mineralized Glass MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Happiness. Um, I really like this gloss. I'm like this really depends on like what kind of makeup I'm feeling or like the mood I'm in or how glossy I want it to be it's not swatching very well but I love it um it's kind of it leaves kind of like a sparkle overtone and sometimes like I don't really feel like having that because like can you have to be in the mood to so, like see like that's it's super glossy it's more of, like an has an orangey like undertone but if you're looking just for something like throw on your lips and go out um this is perfect but also I don't know if y'all saw but, like the brush 
it's not like pointy it's like really flat so it's hard to get your cupid's bow really right so i usually just use like um a brush from like an old lip gloss or something and just like wash it out one that i don't use anymore and just use it for that because i love that lip gloss okay so wrapping up my high-end lip glosses um and it sounds really generic and really cliche but kylie um i love kylie lip glosses um this is in the shade like and i'm pretty sure i don't think I'm, i i might be wrong you can only get these online but um again i'm a, i'm a nude girl for sure like i love being um in nude shades on my lips um and this is kind of like a little bit of a darker one so that's what it looks like on my skin but i again i do have super pale skin but um yeah this one is super glossy i'll sometimes wear this over my two faced one um to give it kind of more of like a brownie look if you will but that one for sure is the way to go i'm pretty sure i want to say this was like 17 20 i don't know but yeah you can find that online it's a really good one if you're looking for just um like a darker gloss instead of just like a really natural gloss Okay, so starting um, with our drugstore or Walmart or whatever you want to call it, um, this one is a gloss, um, Milani in the shade Rome. Um, I really love this gloss. I haven't used it in a long time. I've kind of like strayed away from it, but it smells like cupcakes. That's the first reason I love it. I mean, who doesn't look, oh my God, like I can smell it right now and it smells freaking fantastic. So this is what it looks like on my skin. It's kind of a super bad picture of it, but I mean, it is really pink, but this one is probably like the worst about leaving gl like um, glitter, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can tell in that spot. Yeah, you kind of can. It gets super glittery, but I do love this gloss. It applies really well. It doesn't feel really thick. Um, so if you want like sparkle, then like I think this is the way to go for sure. I haven't really looked at any other like glosses, um, like high end glosses, I guess, that I love that has sparkle in them because sometimes it's like really thick sparkle. So if you're looking for something with like um, sparkle in it, Milani is for sure the way to go. Okay, so this lip gloss is really, um, it's super neutral. Like sometimes I will, I'll have on like mascara and blush and I'll be able to put this on and it just look, it gives my lips like super like a finished look, I guess. Um, this is LA Colors in, I want to say the shade Nude, but I don't really know. So this is what it looks like. Um, I really like this gloss because it kind of feels like chapstick like it's not heavy on the skin at all it kind of is pink and kind of is nude it doesn't leave any like sparkles or anything oh my gosh why is my arm broken why did I put it right there that's what it looks like on the skin this one right here my arm doesn't like work that way but yeah I love this gloss um it doesn't leave any sparkles and if you're looking for something super natural and super easy to just put on and go especially like for Monday mornings for school when you have on like barely any makeup and you're like okay my lips look unfinished um la colors this one is for sure awesome i don't even think this is mine i'm pretty sure this is cheyenne's lip gloss but hey shout out to cheyenne <laughs> okay so wrapping up the glosses um and the video is gonna be my revlon this one this is revlon you can get this at the drugstore in the shade snow pink um i have like it depends really on what you're looking for it like makes that really satisfying noise um it has a really good brush to like do your cupid's bow with but this one's probably more natural than like any of them because it literally like has no color especially on the skin like literally where i put it it's right there like so that's it's super super neutral so if you have like a really perfect lip that you absolutely love that's super mad and you're like i don't like the way it finishes this one revlon snow pink is the way to go because it has it has sparkles like in it i don't know if you can like see i can't like but it has sparkles like in it but when you put it on your lips or put it on the skin you can barely see it at all and that's what i love about it so like with my la colors one it's kind of more it gives off more of like a pinky color and you already have that color finished on your lips but um this one kind of like if you literally if it, if you want just like chapstick and you can't find your chapstick or something this is for sure the way to go i would literally wear this with no makeup just so my lips looked healthy and fresh and good. So um, yeah, those are all of them for you. So so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. My second and not final, I was gonna say second and final video. I promise it's not my final one, but my second video. Um, I know it seems kind of silly to do like a whole 
I mean video on like lipsticks but I am a lipstick girl like down to like my core um, you will never catch me with any makeup on and no lipstick ever or lip gloss or chapstick I will always have something on my lips no matter what so that's why I was like okay this is my day so like I for sure was really excited to do this video um, I hope y'all enjoyed it and y'all leave in the comments down below what y'all want me to do next because like since I am so new at it still I'm like struggling with what like videos to do for y'all so like if y'all want a QA, and a oh my god that's a huge bug in my window ew it was like this big okay but anyways um um if y'all want me to do a QA, and a y'all leave me that if y'all want me to do a makeup tutorial like y'all just let me know I mean, my makeup looks kind of trash today but um yeah y'all just leave down what y'all want me to do and I will see what I can do for you guys so thank y'all for watching and I will see you next time love you